Hey guys, Voldiris here. I saw that Gundam Evolution had released a developer's blog, so I thought I'd go over it a little bit, make a quick video. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. So it says, hello, this is Kazuya, the executive producer for Gundam Evolution. Firstly, I'd like to apologize as it's been a while. Blah, blah, blah. Talks about how many players, beyond their expectations. Okay, so they're going to do some unit balance changes. We plan to periodically perform balance patches based on our gameplay data and your feedback, the first of which will be implemented during the maintenance on 1026. So we'll be getting some adjustments in a few days. Uh, going over the details of the patch and a maintenance notice releasing on the 21st. Seen the maintenance notice yet? Uh, proving ranked matches. We've taken temporary measures to improve ranked matches. However, we recognize that there are still various problems that must be addressed. We will continue to observe user distributions in each rank, win loss rates of Q and solo players and players in parties. Oh, pretty basic stuff. Everybody who plays the game knows a lot of that stuff. It's just really jacked up at the moment. Uh, C. Addressing current confirmed issues. Bug where units can hover indefinitely under specific circumstances. I ran into that and it looks pretty funny. It looks like the unit's jumping all over the place. Uh, definitely had the problem where my main weapon becomes unusable multiple times. Cases where the units designated for certain challenges cannot complete them, <laughs> getting the gun tank for crits, by example. Uh, issues where players cannot reconnect after being disconnected from a custom match. Yeah, that happens all the time. That will be a godsend if they can fix that soon. Uh, and minor fixes to in-game techs. Continue to investigate the network error, forces the application to close. All of that's pretty good. If they can fix all that, that'll go a long way towards uh, making the game a lot more playable, aside from you know balance issues, things like that. It's most of the major bugs affecting the game right now. Um, future updates, they're gearing up for season two in December. Also going to be during season one in October, expanding more service to areas of the Guam and parts of Europe. More players is always a good thing. Uh, start of season two is scheduled to begin on 11:29 for PC and 11:30 for consoles. They uh, plan to release more information on season two around 11:17. So basically, we're getting no information aside from. Console version service launch, new units, new maps, new functions. I hope the maps are a lot better. The maps could really use a lot of work. A lot of them are just very boring and basic. Not a whole lot of uh, detail to them. Uh, so it looks like that's about it. Uh, overall, it's good to see some information. Those uh, bug fixes are going to go a long way towards making the game a lot more playable, especially being able to reconnect to your matches. If you get disconnected, there's nothing worse than having a game going, somebody disconnects, and then you just know that you're hosed for that game. Your chances of recovering from that are slim to none. Uh, looking forward to new maps. That'll be pretty cool, and hopefully we get some uh, more of the iconic Gundams. I'd really like to see some units from uh, the Gundam Wing series. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Uh, anyways, that appears to be it. it. Looks like sometime today we may actually be getting a little bit more information on the uh, patch. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, maybe I'll see you in game. Later.